In this video, we will learn about Ionic Framework for iOS development. Ionic Framework is a front-end framework for developing hybrid mobile apps with HTML5. To start using Ionic with iOS, you will need macOS X with Xcode, the Xcode command line tools, and Node.js installed. Instructions for installing these prerequisites are in the notes for this video. Once you've finished installing the prerequisites, install Ionic from the Node Package Manager. If you are new to Node.js, NPM is a package manager for Node.js that will resolve your dependencies. Install Ionic now with npm install g Ionic Cordova iOS-Sim. These modules are the basis for working with Ionic on iOS. The Ionic module itself is the primary command line tool you'll be working with. Cordova is Ionic's underlying platform for building native mobile applications using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Finally, the iOS Sim module allows us to run the iOS simulator from the command line. We can now begin building apps with Ionic. Ionic ships with several templates, but we will start with a tabbed app. You can learn about the other templates in the Getting Started Guide in the notes for this video. To start a new tab-based application, type Ionic Start, Tabs App, Tabs. This will create a folder called Tabs App, so change into that folder. When we look at the folder's contents, we can see there is a lot happening. In the next video, we will break down the structure of an Ionic app and change our application. For now, we will just get it running in the iOS simulator. An Ionic application does not ship with any platforms installed. To turn our app into something runnable on a device, we need to add specific platforms we want to use. In this case, we want iOS. In the terminal, type Ionic Platform Add iOS. Once Ionic resolves its dependencies, we can run the application. Type Ionic Emulate iOS to run the iOS simulator. Once it's running, we can now see that we have a working tabbed application. In the next video, we will talk about the structure of an Ionic project and begin customizing our app. 